put uh, yeah. All right, cool. So we live, we live, we live. So I'm going to mute everyone now, okay? Okay, cool. All right, so the first thing for um to set up your trading view, the first thing you want to do is go to tradingview.com. All right, tradingview.com. Everyone on this call, if you want to learn how to take trades yourself, you must have trading view, okay? You must have trading view. Now, when you go to tradingview.com, it's going to look like um give me a minute. Let's go to the home page. Yeah, home. Leave. All right, cool. So it's going to look like it's going to look like this. Right, it's gonna look like this. So when you um see this, all you want to do is go to chat. All right, you click on chat, and once you click on chat, it brings you to the chat. Now, most of you are not gonna have accounts, right? You're not gonna have accounts, so you're gonna add um an account. How do you do that? You just link it with Gmail, okay? You link it with your Gmail, your Facebook, whatever, or you could just create an account. But I linked mine with Gmail because it's faster. You do that um, by coming to the plus sign. When you add the currency, they will tell you to do all of that. Okay. Once you add the currency, they will tell you to do all of that. Now, the next thing, let me let me um, what was that? Yeah, let me reduce this noise. All right, cool. There we go. Mm, give me a minute. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, look at Gcard. Gcard finally melted. <laughs> Told you guys it was going to melt. So after you add a currency pair, you know, you cl click on this. To add a currency pair, all you need to do is what? Search the pair. Now, if I'm looking for USDJPY, USDJPY, it comes out, okay? Now, when the, when these currencies pop out, you see USDJPY in so many places, click on Oanda, all right? Click on Oanda. The reason why you click on Oanda is because Oanda has the closest price to the broker, okay? Oanda has the closest price to the broker. Look at this drop. Sheesh. Oanda has the closest price to the brokers, okay? So if Oanda is at 624, 628 right now, the brokers will be at maybe like, maybe a difference of one point or two points. But if you use FXCM or other, uh, other uh, just in providers, you're going to have a huge price difference. So you hear people saying, ah, on my broker, I'm sorry, on my trading view, the market is not there. So why is it there on trade? And why is it there on the broker, um, on my trading platform? Well, it's because of the price difference, okay? It's because of the price difference, all right? So now the next thing you want to do after you've added the currency pairs you want to trade, um, when you're starting at first, please do not add plenty of currency pairs. You see me, I have a lot of currency pairs, but you don't want to do that, right? You want to stick to at least two to three currency pairs at the beginning of your journey, all right? When I started, I was using um, NZUSD, GBP, JPY, and um ER, erusd those are the currency pairs i was trading with i don't really like usd jpy till today but it's a good currency all right it's a very good currency but you want to stick to at least two to three currency pairs if you notice whenever we're calling our trades i most times call gbp jpy nzd usd right because that's what i'm used to even if i analyze other pairs i'll always fall back towards um default because those are the currency pairs i know how to what trade very well so you want to learn how to do that pick few currency pairs work with them okay now the next thing you want to do is click on fx okay because this is naked forex right now this is just the naked charts your candles are not going to look like this boy whatever way your candle looks like just know that um red is a selling candle and blue is a buying candle okay so blue goes up red goes down all right, now you're going to see stuffs like this, all right? You're going to see stuffs like these are basically time frames, all right? Time frames. So each candle, right now I'm on the five minutes, so it means each candlestick is five minutes, okay? Each candlestick is five minutes. Now, if I click on the 15 minutes, it means each candlestick is what? 15 minutes, all right? If I click on 30 minutes, the same information, okay? But we mostly work with the five minutes, three minutes, and one minute because we are what? trading high frequency forex what trading binary options money in minutes sharp sharp we're not looking for what happened three hours ago or where the market will go to in three hours no that's not what we're looking for we're looking for what will happen 
now what will happen in the next five minutes that's what we're looking out for okay so you click on this you see them all you need to do is what star them all right so you add them to your favorites you just need to star all these things all right now the next thing you want to do is click on fx when you click on fx you search for what rsi um stochastics rsi stochastics rsi you click on that okay you click on uh, let me erase all my indicators remember indicators all right cool so you click on what stochastics rsi you see it stochastics rsi pop out boom it comes out you see this this is it this is what it looks like all right this is what it looks like this is what it looks like now once you click on stochastic RSI, it pops out the next indicator you want to bring out is what the ema right ema ema 20 50 100 200 you click on that all right you click on that this is how it comes out now you go to that ema you see this uh what is it called you see this um setting sign you click on that you turn off the first three and leave the last one why am i leaving the last one because the last one is what it's my 200 ema and you know what we use the 200 ema for it lets us know the trend of the market all right let us know the trend of the market right now we know that gcard is on the downtrend right you see that right here we know it's on a downtrend cool so you have this left to me you need these two indicators that you, um yeah I, I mean with these two indicators you're good to go the next thing you just need to know is how to mark up, uh, mark up your support and resistance. And I've gone over that in previous classes, but today I'm going to go over it one more time, okay? I'm going to go over it one more time. Now, you come to your five minutes, right? You come to your five minutes and you look what happened in the past. Well, we have market reacting here. We have market reacting here. Automatically, what am I doing? And then we have all of these shady moves right here right here what am i going to do i'm going to come to look 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 very closely guys i'm going to come here click on this do you guys see horizontal line i'm going to start it. horizontal ray star vertical line star arrow star trend line star why am i starting all these things because they are going to come down here okay so it's easier for me to access so i'm just going to come here click on this one this is horizontal line and I'm going to mark it out. Boom. Why do you think I marked out this zone? Because it is a good support and resistance. Look, the market came here, bounced off this zone, went up, the same thing, broke, reacted, dropped, came up, reacted, went up, came down, reacted, and dropped. So automatically, what am I doing? I know that this is a strong zone of what? At this point, it is a what? Resistance because the market is below it. So it's a resistance zone. Okay. Now there's another line. Look at this one. All right, I can adjust that a little. All right, cool. Look what happened. Market got here, week, week, went up, came here, went up, came up. And you see that the same thing. Now the market is heading towards it. What am I looking out for? I'm looking out for a sell. So automatically, I mark out that zone. Remember, we call out the last three numbers. The last three numbers is 674, right? 674. Right, six, seven, four. Now, what am I going to do? If by eventually the market got to this area, I'm going to go to my cash trap. I'm going to go to my cash trap, right? And I'm going to search what? I'm going to search GBP what? Card. You see GBP card? I'm going to click on it. Right on GP, I'm going to click on it. And what am I looking out for? I'm looking for what is Cash Trap calling. If Cash Trap is calling out a put, I'm going to go to my trading view and I'm seeing what the market at my zone. Cash Trap is telling me to put my um, indicator is aligning. So automatically, I'm going to go in for that trade. Do you understand now? If you guys understand, drop one in the chat. If you, if you understand, drop one in the chat. And if you don't understand, tell me exactly what you don't understand. Okay, if you don't understand, drop exactly what you don't understand.
Okay, so I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over this indicator right now, stochastic RSI. Okay, I'm going to go over this indicator. So pay close attention. Okay, pay close attention. Now, the stochastic RSI is um, it's a is an indicator basically that helps you know when the market wants to do a reversal, when the market wants to um, go for a reversal, right? So you see all this right here. The market was trying to go for a reversal and then boom, it pushed to the downside. You see this right here? The market was trying to go for a reversal and then it went up. You see this right here? The market did a reversal, the market did a reversal, the market did a reversal. So when I'm trading, I always look, right? I always look at this indicator. It must go above these lines, these dotted lines. Let me make that line clear enough for you to see. And make it line, line. Uh, yeah. Let's make it thick. And uh, let's color it red. All right. The bottom one, we're going to color it blue. And we're going to make it thick. All right. Cool. Okay. So now you can see it clearly, right? Now, when this stuff goes above this line it's a good indication that the market is getting ready so when you hear some educators saying oh okay um i'm looking at this currency it is setting up these are things they are looking out for okay they're looking at stuffs like this that oh the market is setting up for itself now whenever the market whenever this line goes up above the red line it means the market is getting ready to sell to the downside. Dropping down is a sell, going up is a buy, okay? So it means the market is getting ready to sell, drop to the downside. So what are you looking out for when the market is here? You check, you come back to your chart and check where is this market right now? Where is this market right now, right? Where is this market right now for me to what? For me to see if it's at a support or resistance zone. Now, let me show you an example. Um, let's go to the, yeah, good. So now look what happened, family. Look, the market came up. I'm going to go to the horizontal line right now. I'm going to mark it out. Boom. Now look, is the line above the red? Is the indicator, these two lines, is it above the red line? Let me see the chart real quick. Is it above the red line? Is this um, blue and red line above this red line right here? Is it above, yes or no, yes or no? Yes, all right, cool. You tick it, first indication, it is above, one. Number two, is the market at a support or resistance zone? Let me mark that out for you. Is it at a support or resistance zone? Look at this, look at the line. I use this horizontal line for you to know where the market is at this point. So look at that. This is a, this red line, um, this red box I created is a, um, a resistance zone. So look, is the market at a resistance zone, yes or no? So you see the market is at a resistance zone. So first confirmation, Second confirmation. Now, when do you think I'm going to take this trade? I'm going to take the trade what? When I see that this indicator is coming back to the red line, okay? When I see that it's coming back to the red line, that's when I'm going to take it. So let me mark that out. Boom, right there. I've marked it out. So if you guys see what happened, look. Let me make it bigger. Right, cool. See? This is the first time the market told me that, you know what, I am ready to sell. But it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles for it to what? Break this zone and come to the downside, right? So when did I go in? I went in at this particular candle, right? I went in at this particular candle, why? This candle, this candle tells me that I am ready to sell. I said, okay, good. I've got my confirmation that the market wants to sell. But when am I going to enter this trade? When I see that this line is what? Touching, it comes back to the red. When it's coming back to the red, okay? I'm going to be watching it. It's a live chart. It's going to be moving. Coming back to the red, I take it. So this is where I take the trade. And then I take it for what? Two minutes. And this is a five-minute candle. You see how it pushes down? So this is a simple clear. 
All right? That's a simple clear. Now let's look at another example. Boom, the market comes back down, does all of this. I am not taking the trade because I want it to come high up, right? I want it to come high up. Now look what happened. The market comes up. Where, where does it come up at? This zone. I'm going to mark it up again. You see that? It marked it up. It's at the what? It's coming towards our support again. It's coming towards our support again. Where am I going to sell it? Right here. Why am I selling it there? Because I see, sorry. Because I see that the market is what's coming back to touch this. Do you guys see that? I see the market is coming back to touch it. I sell on this candle, right? Depending on where you sell on this candle, you might win it or you might lose it. Remember, this is a five minutes candle. You're selling for two minutes. So you're selling in this candle, right? You're selling in this candle. Let's go to the three minutes and see what happens. Where you at? All right, cool. So now look at the three minutes. Can you guys see? Looking at the three minutes candle, look. This was the first three minutes can do and this was the next one so definitely you selling you would have won this trade you definitely would have won this trade okay you would have definitely won this trade let's go back to the five minutes where are you all right cool so that's just an example of how to use this to sell now let's do, let's look for buy opportunities now the same line let me extend it the same line that was our support I'm sorry, that was our resistance become our support. Look, these are just some examples of when to buy a market and when to sell a market. Look what happens. Boom, boom, boom. It breaks to the downside. Remember I told you when it's selling, it breaks and now it comes here. All right, now it comes here. Now let's mark that out. Let me clear this. This up. All right, cool. Now let's mark it out again. This is when it comes in, right? This is when the market comes in. You guys see that? Look at this line, it comes in. Look at this blue. It breaks through our blue, our blue horizontal line, right? It breaks through. So now we at this point, I've got my first confirmation that what the market wants to go up. But when, when am I going to buy? I look at what the market, the market is where? Is that the what support, remember? When the market is below a previous zone where it has been before, that zone is called the what? Ceiling. It's called the resistance. When it breaks through the ceiling and goes up and it comes back there, that is called a what? Support. We have spoken about this in the past, so you should know all of that. Now it comes down to the support. What am I looking for? A buy opportunity. Boom. I get the first confirmation. Market is down here. Second confirmation. Market is in my what? Market is in my, uh, what is it called, my support zone. Now my third confirmation is right here. Look, where does it break out? Right here. Right? Look at that. Look, it comes in here and it leaves here. And when it's leaving, when do I buy? It's still at my support zone. So I'm going to buy right here. Right, I'm going to around this zone. I will look for buy opportunities, and guess what happened? Market shoots right up before it comes back again. It shoots right up, so I cleared this trade. Now, when you mark out this zone, right? When you mark out these zones, and you see first confirmation, second confirmation is in your support zone. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to go to my cash trap real quick. Check the currency pair, GBP card. I click on it, right? This is GBP card right now. I'm going to check what's Cash Trap calling. If Cash Trap is calling out a call, ha, lovely. I'm going to take that trade. And also, I'm going to look at Cash Trap. What score? Once I see any score above three, three and above, basically, right? Three and above, I'm going to take that trade. All right. Once I see three points and above, I'm going to go in for that. Yeah, I'm going to go into that particular trade idea. So boom, shoot up. What happens when it comes back down and breaks the zone? Yeah, I see that it breaks the zone, and then what happened? The market has reacted here before. I told you guys, reacted here before. What does the market do now? Let's mark it out. The market comes here. When did the market? Oh, sorry, give me a minute. All right, cool. When did the market come in? Let me clean this. The market pushes down. So this is where the market came back, right here. 
this is where the market came back on this candle the market came back down the market kept on pushing so imagine if the market was here because you just saw that uh, the market is here the market has broken you start buying you will lose this trade look what happened the market kept on pushing down until it got to what this zone now look came to our support when it got to our support are we going to buy no we wait we wait for the market to give us what an indication that it wants to go up when does it do that right here see that all right, it gives us a confirmation on this candle and we buy on this candle. Do you see how high this candle went? Let me clean this up. See this week, it means the candle went that high before it dropped back down and closed here. All right, so this is where we got in. Look, we got in on this candle and then we cleared because the market two minutes this is a five minutes candle. Boom, we cleared and the market what does what it wants to do. So we, we have seen um, opportunities. We bought here. I'm sorry, we bought here. We sold here. So we won, we won, we won. And then see, this is another sell opportunity right here. Another sell opportunity right here. So basically what you want to do is identify support zones, identify resistance zones, right? Identify where the market is on your stochastic. Is it overbought or oversold? When I say overbought, it means the market went up above my red line. If I say oversold, it means the market went down below the blue line, okay? Those are just technical words we use in the market, overbought and oversold, okay? So when you're trading with traders and you hear them say, oh, the market is overbought, the market is oversold, these are, these are the things they're looking at and that's what they're saying, okay? If you have questions, um, drop them in the chat box and I'm going to answer, okay? So this is the way you could literally trade using, um, Trading view and cash trap. Now look look what the market is doing right now. This is the zone we marked out since the market has been messing around that zone. But see what I want you to see. Uh, look at what I'm pointing out right now. Look, this is the first indication, right? Market breaks out. What am I doing? I'm marking out that candle. This is where the market broke out on this blue one. So the market is over bought right now. The market is over bought right now. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for the market to curve back to this line, for it to come back to this line. Right now it's above the line. I want it to come back to this line. It's coming back to this line. What am I going to do? I'm going to mark that zone again, right? I'm going to mark that zone again. How do I have this line? I have this line because it's the previous what? It's the previous support. So now that the market is below that line, it's a what? Resistance, all right? It's a resistance. Right now market is breaking through, remember? We haven't taken the trade because we haven't gotten our what confirmation. We have gotten the first confirmation. Market is above. We are waiting for the second confirmation for market to come back to this line. Once market comes back to this line, it's on our support. I'm sorry, it's on our resistance zone. What do we do? Cash trap, right? We go to cash trap real quick. Let's click on the alert panel. All right, you go to your cash trap, you search for the currency and see what it's calling out. GBP card, GBP CAD, check. Uh, GB, GBP card, you click on it and what? You check what cash trap is calling. Cash trap is currently calling out a put. It's currently calling out a put. So what, that's how you just basically get your confirmations and then you go into a trade, all right? You go into a trade. Do not underestimate cash trap, right? Do not that underestimate cash trap. Look what's happening right now, look. It's happening right in front of you. Are you seeing the curve? Are you seeing the curve? It's lovely when you use a live market to teach this um, kind of things. Look, it's curving. But right now we're not going to go in because we haven't gotten a confirmation. Do not be, um, do not be um, in a haste to take a trade. Do not be in a haste. Wait, get your confirmation, right? Because trust me, once you get your confirmation, no matter what, the market will drop. So where you enter the trade is not really going to matter because imagine if, while the market was doing all of this, I entered. I'll be in profit, I'll be out of profit. I'll be in profit, I'll be out of profit. And I do not want that. I want to be in profit and I know that this thing drowns properly. I clear the trade without um, what's got holding my breath or anything. That's why when you see um, I myself and Clara is trading, right? She always asks, uh, Michael, have you gotten the confirmation? I, I also ask her, have you gotten the confirmation? These are things we look out for, right? These are things we look out for. Once we see the confirmation, then we tell you guys, okay, you know what? 
it's a green light you can go in okay so you guys have to practice this all right you have to practice this look what's happening right now look crossing is going to come down to this line and what happened boom we take it let's go to the three minutes and see what happened you see the three minutes you see what's happening it's been up there for the longest of time and bet me this thing is going to drop so right now even on the three minutes you're waiting for it to come back to this line right you're waiting for it to come back to this line. let's go to the one minute and see can you see on the one minute what happened let me show you something real quick Woo! and now it's dropping look at the one minute it came in here and then it came look at this Look at the one minute. This is where it broke out from, right? This is where it broke out from. You take your trace, two minutes. One, two, clear. If you rolled it over, one, two, three, one more candle, right? But then whenever we take one minute, whenever we analyze on the one minute, we always wait for a retest and then we get in, all right? So let's look at this very beautiful. It's literally forming in front of you. On the one minute, it's gone. Let's go to the three minutes and see. Are you seeing three minutes, the same thing? This would have been your entry on the three minutes. This particular candle right now would have been your entry on the three minutes. Let's go to the five minutes and see. On the five minutes, it's still setting up, meaning this thing is going to even drop harder, right? On the five minutes, it's still setting up, meaning it's going to drop harder. So whatever time frame you're looking at determines how long you're going to be in a trade. We analyze on five minutes and three minutes, and we're going for two minutes, okay? If you're analyzing on the 15 minutes, you're going for five minutes, 10 minutes, if you're analyzing on um, the 30 minutes, then you can, go in for, you can go in for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, your choice, or even five minutes, okay? So if you have questions, drop them in the chat box real quick. If you have questions, drop them in the chat box. Drop questions in the chat box. I know most of you be wondering, how do you know where the market is going to react? Well, the market will always do what it wants to do, right? And the market always repeats itself. It will always repeats itself. So you just need to look for those zones where the market has been in the past. How do you identify? I look for three spots. Market reacted one, two, three. Mark it out. It continued four, five. You see that? Let's look for another example right now. See? Market reacted here. Yeah. One, market reacted here. Yeah. Two, market reacted here. Yeah. Three. You see that? Market always repeats itself. Give me a minute. Market will always repeats itself. Look at this. This is just how you literally mark your support and resistance zone. Market will always repeat itself. Look at this. Went up came close went up came back broke broke went up came back here reacted went up so the market will always repeats itself okay market will always repeats itself all right so in the absence of no questions i'm going to stop recording the call right now